Hello, Figuramians around the world. Welcome to Figurama Collectors uh, Tokyo Wonder Festival uh, 2022. Uh, this is going to be the most exciting and largest uh, festival for us to date because we are joining with six elite statues and uh, three new figurines that they belong to a totally brand new line. So uh, please uh, join us now and I will take you through all of like this uh, new collection. And I'm mostly excited, guys, to uh, take you through the brand new line that we have just launched in this Wonder Festival is the Dayo Cube. Uh, from this line, we have uh, chosen uh, three amazing gaming uh, licenses. Uh, so the whole idea behind the Dayo Cube, it's a world in a cube. As you know, Figurama collectors, we always love to, to like make dioramas and to show small, uh, tiny details in our largest statues. And for that, we have made a cubic design that it's never going to change in like terms of the dimension. It's always uh, going to be 15 cm by 15 cm by 15 cm. And it's going to depict a scene uh, from a game or anime or whatever that really it stays a lot with us and it have a nostalgic feeling as you can see here the first one i'm going to show you is the red permit thing versus james you see james he's hiding inside the cupboard as as what we used to do with the game while permit thing he's like walking outside looking for james and it's the moment that when he look on his side that he uh, sense the presence of james and James, he's like very tense, waiting this moment till uh, the red pyramid goes inside. And you see the nurse, uh, the famous nurse, and and and, and their like weird walk. Uh, there is a lot of Easter eggs actually in in this scene. Uh, there is the rat that always uh, wherever uh, red pyramid goes, the rat goes with him you can see like there is uh, you know the uh, cartridge inside there is the bullets there is uh, the health kit it's going to be a limited editions um, about the materials the quantity the price it's all going to come soon so i i hope you guys will like this uh, new line as it's like my personal uh, favorite for now and i would like to show you the second piece which is uh, from metal gear it's uh, depicting uh, the office scene of uh, Psycho Mantis when he fights with the snake. Uh, you can see everything is uh, flying around dynamic as, as you see from Figurama Collector's Elite uh, series. Um, again, a very realistic paint going around uh, on the marble, on the wood, the, the, the textures, it's all around very realistic and you see like uh, some bullets on the floor um, a lot of uh, flying details uh, from the scene and last but not least it's uh, the scene of the throne room for uh, Castlevania it's uh, Richter Permont and uh, uh, Dracula you see that uh, Richter Permont he is uh, pointing finger at uh, Dracula like when you are going to see it in colors that's going to be again it will represent the realistic colors which it's going to give it a twist and an edge to like what's out there in the market it's is the throne you know Dracula he's sitting on his throne while Richter Belmont is uh, uh, holding his uh, whip and the pointing finger at uh, at him in a very challenging uh, stance uh, you can see on the floor there is the potion, the hearts, which is, you know, the HP, like you see the cross and some bones here and there. I hope you guys will love it and you, and you are going to see it very soon. So please join me to show you the most epic and weighted piece for this festival. It's the second in line from 70 cents, Escarnor versus Estarosa. You can see this massive and epic piece. Maybe here we can see the size. It's depicting the most epic fight uh, between uh, Estarossa and Escanor um, in, in his full glory, uh, charging up the cruel sun. All of this is going to be animated LED. Uh, we will have an LED in the fire uh, sun and then in all over the trail of it. Uh, we have used here a very special technique, the same as we use with our Hunter Hunter piece, which is the gold leaf over the base. 
and all of this is uh, gold leaves. Uh, it's a very complicated technique, but it does a lot of difference when it comes to statues. We have painted in a dark purple and we applied a smooth uh, layer of iridescent uh, color. So it will give you like that kind of uh, magical effect, I would say. Um, is Starossa going to come with a swappable torso? Uh, the damaged one and the actual, uh, you know, uh, complete torso and that also come with a head like there's the rage head that you can see his veins and the anger in, in his eyes in the same time uh, we have the more calmer uh, face there is a lot of Easter eggs in here so please guys enjoy it and uh, hopefully you'll be one of the lucky collectors who is gonna order this piece very soon so Figuramias, now I'm going to take you through our most hyped pieces for today, which is from Shaman King. As you can see, this is How and Yo. And I didn't say uh, How versus Yo, uh, because it's part of our uh, new Elite Fusion line. The whole idea of like this Elite Fusion line, it's, it's going to be fusible. Uh, you can either show the pieces by itself, if you would like to purchase only one of them, or uh, you like uh, showcase both of them, but in the same time, it's like gonna look good whether you fuse them or not so this is the let's see the the like solo position and once you fuse them like once you rotate both of them it's going to be perfectly fitting in in like terms of uh, silhouette and terms of uh, uh, versus pose this is an amazing uh, pose and you can see here the pedestal down here it's uh, depicting the Asakura family symbol. So like once you fuse them together, which we are not going to do it here, uh, it's going to give you a complete uh, symbol, um, Asakura family symbol, as, as we all know, both of them, they belong to the same family. Thank you so much. Uh, so basically, I, I will talk first um, about how. You can see um, he is with his uh, fire guardian. Um, you you uh, can tell that he is sitting in, in his uh, palm in between his uh, clothes. All the fire going to lit in an LED and uh, it, it have a great uh, presence. As you can see, the piece is huge. So we will go now to Yo. You can see him with um, Amida Maro. Um, he is uh, charging uh, toward uh, Hao and uh, you will see Amido Maru is, you know, um, acting in the same uh, movement as Yo. Um, he is holding his dagger and the sword. And the pedestal down here, uh, it's the claw necklace of, uh, of uh, Yo. And there is, uh, you know, the tomb uh, stone over here that the author himself asked us to add it. It, it was a great addition. Uh, and again, that's going to be an LED lit. So I hope you guys going to like it. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Another amazing piece that we are showcasing in this wonder festival uh, is uh, Yu Yu Hakusho Yusuke versus Tuguro. You can see this is one of the most epic fights that we have in the whole series. Uh, Tuguro versus Yusuke. Uh, the scene here, it's uh, depicted in the arena. Uh, so uh, you see the pedestal over here down, it's representing the arena where all the fight uh, happened. And uh, we have uh, uh, very nice Easter eggs on the back side, as you can see. We have the uh, board like that shows the scoreboard and uh, we have the ticket uh, of the match over the, uh, the base as well. What makes this uh, statue very unique is uh, Yusuke, uh, he can be posed in two positions, uh, the flipped as, as we could see him in the anime and also he can be upright. In a very easy move, it can be done. So uh, this is gonna uh, make a nice impact on the shelf like when we display it over our shelf. You know, maybe after some time uh, we feel bored and we wanna, you know, like do a little change that gonna give us a new perspective of the statue. So we will like just take him out and we will uh, flip him around. And that will be it.
I have to say it's gonna come with a lot of uh, swivel heads for for both. It's too early now to tell you guys how many. We will like leave some mystery for the near future. So hopefully you will love it. It's gonna be an LED uh, base, so all the energy like that uh, represent to grow and the energy that represents uh, use okay, it's uh, going to be an LED light. Um, basically you can see how dynamic is this piece with all the debris from the arena is flying around it's almost exactly like what happened in the anime so i hope that you guys love it and now i'm very excited to reveal to you guys the only elite exclusive statue for this wonder festival it's going to be castlevania alucard and richter belmont alucard up there with his full uh, grace and uh, glory, holding his uh, sword, almost weightless, uh, flying over uh, the enemies around him. Uh, while Richter Belmont is uh, down there, he's like more uh, grounded, you know, like because he's human and uh, grounded, uh, brutal. You can see he's uh, slashing with, with his whip and you see like this uh, bloody details that in Figurama we always love to add. His eyes are cut, his, his brain is out, all of the blood um, around it, it's like just gore that is really uh, uh, giving a lot of uh, presence, especially like when you see it in life. The inner organs of the demons and with all the juiciness of, of, of the blood, it's almost uh, fresh. Uh, actually, we chose the scene uh, from the long library of uh, uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. It's an amazing scene that, uh, you know, you can see here the stairs that are uh, Baroque style uh, from uh, Dracula Castle. And there is a very nice detail in the backside, which is an Easter egg. We have a lot of Easter eggs actually in this uh, statue. It's the stone mask that the developers, they wanted to, you know, uh, pay an homage to uh, Jojo because when Dio wear it in Jojo, uh, he becomes a vampire. So we also included that and it has been approved by the licensors as well. We have the dagger that it uh, fell down from one of the demons as well. There's too much Easter eggs, but the most important piece I will talk about here, it's the pedestal. You can see the throne of Dracula down there. And uh, all of this miniature that is representing the upside down castle. And if you can see the overall silhouette, it's somehow representing the castle. So we did our best to represent the silhouette of the castle. So uh, I hope that you love it, guys. And uh, we have something new for the first time. We make a certificate of authenticity over the cartridge. Uh, so like that to give you a nostalgia feeling guys, you know, like for uh, back in the days when we used the uh, cartridge to play uh, Castlevanias and um, so we, we have uh, an art print on the front side and the back side is the details of the certificate and it's also gonna come with a paper certificate that you guys used to get from Figarama collectors but this is like just a special addition to, to your uh, piece uh, I want to show you guys uh, another elite solo piece that we have uh, created. It's a one quarter uh, scale and uh, this piece is uh, our third piece that we have a gun, uh, like that have a gun shooter I would say. It's uh, Revy from uh, Black Lagoon. It's, uh, it's a one four uh, scale. Uh, this one like what you're looking at, it's an early prototype. Uh, we have uh, done uh, many modifications to her body and silhouette also to the base that we are going to show very soon but it's more or less going to be the same uh, sizing you can see here that we have uh, choose the scene uh, from the bar the yellow flag bar where the black lagoons are uh, regulars um, and uh, Revi she is uh, like known to be a troublemaker uh, so she always, uh, you know, make uh, troubles in the bar and the bar owner always uh, blame her for the, like this noise. And the pedestal here, it's representing the a special cutlass that she holds. And uh, this is a one-to-one -one replica to the real cutlass. And there's an amazing feature that we added for the first time. 
these are uh, props and the same time they are part of the base so you can hold them you like can pose with them um, or let's say uh, cosplay with the with the cutlass and then you can simply add it back to the uh, statue base so when you take it out it's not gonna affect the look of the statue but in the same time um, you can uh, do like whatever you wish for uh, there is the phone booth and a lot of details here and there to represent the, the fight, the chaos and the story. It's going to come with a bust. As you can see, the bust is stand here. It's uh, showing the shells of the 9mm uh, bullets that are uh, unique for her gun. Uh, it's going to come with a bust, which we don't have it now as this is an early prototype. It's going to come with a bust and she have a lot of uh, swabble heads. I hope you guys will uh, love them. So the last piece for today is going to be Bam vs. King from 70 Cents. You have seen this piece before. This is the production piece. Uh, definitely, um, uh, it's going to finish production very soon after the Chinese New Year. So we are almost on time with this piece. I hope you guys will like the coloring and all of the details that we had in our production piece. Uh, there is a slight change to the eyes that uh, so they have like more alignment but all overall that's how it's gonna be so i i hope you guys like it